yo guys what's going on it is fps karen today we're going to be doing a eco half round and save round guide now i'm sure a lot of you know that saving your money and saving your eco in game is very important it's a very important part of valorant but you guys want to make sure that you get the most value out of the weapons that you buy and out of the things that you do on eco round because that is a very important round and even though a lot of the times when you half bar or when you save you're not really meant to win that round you could hire your chances of actually coming out with a, a dub okay so let's get let's get into it so starting off um, a lot of the times i noticed that especially at lower levels people that might not be able to hit every shot they want to i noticed a lot a lot of people buy deagles okay now deagles are a very effective way of saving on valorant but you also got to put into perspective what kind of weapons you're going against so a lot of the times if you're running a pistol right it's either on pistol round or it can be on a save round or a half buy on pistol round you almost never want to buy a deagle there's really no point to it it's better that you buy armor and stay with the classic to be honest because the classic is very versatile so not only can you use that as a pistol but you can actually shotgun with it and your movement with it is actually very you know decent it's not bad at all okay you can actually use this for a lot of a lot of things pretty much and until they nerf the right click this classic is gonna be it's not nearly as bad as you think it is and i think i actually prefer it over the ghost but we'll go over that a little bit later but like i said the deagle is very iffy if you're feeling that your aim is on point then of course you can take a deagle but there are some things that could offer a little bit more value to you than a deagle okay because if you're mid game right and you're trying to save and you buy what most people do which is light armor and a deagle okay a lot of people do this it's a very popular combo to buy if you go against a full team of assault rifles the odds of the deagle being you know beneficial to you is going to be very unlikely while it can one shot from a certain distance you got to remember that it's not like csgo okay the revolver cannot one tap if you're too far away so if somebody has a vandal or a phantom you're going to get shit on pretty much the odds of you having a, success a successful win with a five-man deagle push for example is very unlikely compared to something like the stinger now the stinger is also a very popular eco buy but i notice a lot of people tend to leap on it whenever you have a stinger even in close range this gun can actually compete with a phantom and a vandal at close range okay and i know a lot of you're gonna be like what the fuck like there's no way here that this shit's gonna compete dude trust me trust me trust me this gun when sprayed correctly if you learn the recoil for this gun bro you will shit on people dude it's not even funny how good this fucking stinger can be okay not only that but you have the added movement speed where you can actually run with this thing and you can run with this thing from pretty far like i mean you don't have to be as close as you think you do if you peek somebody and they're holding you from here with a fucking vandal or some shit you just fucking run and spray bro and not only do they have to hit you in the head to kill you but they have to track you correctly and track the recoil while you have an easier recoil to handle so i think me personally if you can afford a stinger over a deagle a stinger will almost always guarantee you more value than a deagle okay just just trust me on this a five-man push with a stinger a five-man stinger push will have a fucking hundred percent chance more <laughs> yeah i know it's kind of exaggerating but it will have a lot more percentage of a chance to win the round rather than having five people rush with deagles so I know a lot of us think that we're, we have good aim. I'm sure a lot of you do have amazing aim. But just keep in mind that the deagle might not be the best thing to take. Okay, just, just keep that in mind. Okay, that being said, let us move on to the marshal. Now, the marshal is also something that is kind of a wild card when it comes to playing. I noticed that a lot of people buy the marshal on second round after winning pistol round because a lot of the times the team that loses doesn't buy armor, right? If you lose pistol round, a lot of the times you won't buy armor. So going against a marshal is really bad because it can one tap you without armor right but i think the marshal is actually a good gun to buy when you are half buying like mid game not pissed around okay so say it's like the score is 4-3 right and you all lost and you had you guys got to save the marshal is actually not a bad choice because i call it the wild card gun for the sole reason that if you hit a headshot with this no matter what the distance no matter how much armor they have you will kill somebody so if you have decent aim, the marshal can be an incredibly, incredibly impactful gun in game, pretty much. Now, you gotta be sure, or you gotta be careful when buying this though, because what I've noticed is that there are some marshal enthusiasts out there. You know, there's some people that swear by this gun, and that's fine. But 
you gotta make sure you limit the amount of people that are buying marshals on your team however because if you have like five marshals on your team you're not gonna do much okay this gun is not bad at all you can actually two shot people if they're full uh full health or whatever but you gotta make sure that you limit the amount of marshals on your team because even if you are half playing you do want to try to win the round and having far but i can't talk having five marshals on your team at once is not good okay you want to have at least a few people with a stinger maybe somebody with a spectre if they can afford it or you know maybe two people on marshall would be good especially the ones that hold long angles and if you can get a pick with a marshall bro on a full health opponent with a vandal then that, that can make a big fucking difference okay that can make a huge difference okay now we're going to be moving on to another gun now there are some people that swear by the judge and the judge is a very fucking good gun okay yeah it's great you can destroy multiple people from far range but look at the fucking spread on this thing after the first two shots dude you're, you're not gonna kill anything with that okay the odds are if you're playing against good people you're not gonna get more than one kill okay and that's if they don't sweep you if they don't check you so to use this gun and a lot of the time that's the only way to use it you're gonna have to hold a corner on eagle rounds right you're gonna have to hold it like that man and at lower levels this could work yeah you can probably get three to four kills on lower levels you know just run out spraying but this is what happens at high levels okay at high levels they people might suspect somebody here and they're pushing you this is what's gonna happen and you're dead and even if you kill that guy okay say you might kill that guy you might you might body him right boom you kill him you, you peek out there's gonna be someone right here bro just waiting for you okay if you're above plat plat or above you're most likely gonna get cleared so if you if this guy doesn't kill you and you do kill him you're most likely gonna get traded out now on defense if you get traded out that is not beneficial okay you want to make sure that you stay alive on defense as long as possible because if you die on defense but you get a kill then the enemy team the attacking team has a better chance of taking that site because there's most likely one person left on site or nobody left on site and they're gonna have it for free okay so you want to make sure that this judge is not something that you rely on and what you could do instead and what i do is i never buy the judge okay the judge costs way too much and it's not really i don't even consider it a fucking save gun man like the judge is only for people that don't know how to properly save people that have too much money and they have much more money than their teammates so they can't afford a judge or somebody who's doing a cheese strat and instead of buying a vandal they buy a judge because they want to hold something close or with a cypher trap or whatever what i honestly suggest 90 percent of the time i think a bucky would be way better okay a bucky is i know it's considered trash by a lot of people and it's considered god tier by a lot of people it just depends what you've been through okay you will be fucking surprised how far you can one tap with your right click how far you can one tap a full armored person okay it is insane dude if you haven't been sniped by a bucky at any time then you are missing out on just how good this gun can be like this gun is insane dude uh, you can do 150 on somebody okay but you want to make sure that you right click okay so the bucky has this weird sweet spot okay like around here where you can one tap somebody with a right click and then it has a sweet spot where if you're this close to somebody you can left click them but there's this weird in between where you don't you don't kill them right you know what i mean so this gun is really good for like medium range and close range but i think it is much more versatile than the judge this gun is precise if you aim your shots and position yourself correctly you can get way more fucking damage and way more Pretty much versatility out of, it, out of it you can get a lot more kills with the with the bucky if you know how to do it and then the judge like say you're trying to pick someone say there's someone right here okay i mean you know what's that gonna do bro like you're pretty much limited to being this close to somebody in order to get the maximum amount out of this but with the bucky you can actually you know quick peek throw a few pump shots out you don't have to commit to the angle that you're doing and you don't have to play one and done angles like you do with the judge with the judge you're almost always going to want to hold a corner or some some kind of position where you either get a kill or you get traded okay and odds are if you do get a kill you're gonna get traded okay and that's just the way it is that's the way the bucky has to i mean the the judge has to work because you can't really do much outside of a certain range but the bucky allows you to be like i said a bit more versatile and i think the bucky is worth it especially for the price difference like look at the price difference here 1600 versus 900 dude the same price of the deagle okay there are a lot more options than the deagle and there are a lot more options than the judge and you want to make sure that you take the guns that i've mentioned into consideration because they're honestly just amazing if you use them correctly 
Okay, now let's get into pistol scenarios. Now, pistols are very important because they obviously decide the first round of every match and every half. And I know a lot of people immediately go to the ghost. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I do not like the ghost whatsoever. I hate this gun, okay? I hate it. I'll use it because of its one-shot potential. And if I'm doing really good or my aim is really on point, then of course I'll buy the ghost because I know I can hit those headshots. But I don't think 500 is enough to i think 500 is too much because look how ina inaccurate that becomes if you miss the first shot the first two to three shots you're most likely gonna die because it's just so inaccurate and even even i've you know i've aimed at heads before and timed it but it just like i think that's fine right like it's just inaccurate sometimes and i i just i don't like it i don't know i mean it, it's personal preference but you don't always have to rely on the ghost and i know most people buy it and a lot of people buy it because it's kind of the meta thing to buy by armor and a ghost or a ghost and some utail or whatever but let's take a look at the options and you can probably open up to more shit okay now the classic like i said before is a lot better than people think it's very versatile you don't have to rely on just one kind of uh, play style you know if you have a ghost and you're up close to somebody what are you gonna do you're gonna have to spam okay and those spammy gunfights when you're really close to somebody are pretty much a 50 50 there are a lot of rng they do rely a lot on aim but you know sometimes you're gonna be like this close to somebody and you're gonna have to like reply i mean you know just spam it to try to get killed and then this gun's not really that accurate and it's just it's a mess okay if you don't use a classic then you should give it a try because not only could you maybe buy armor or buy more util this gun allows you to play in a more open-ended kind of way if that makes sense so you don't always have to commit to like long distance you know one shot angles but you can you can actually play this like a ghost even though you're gonna have to hit a few more bullets to get the kill you know it's still a very good gun and especially if you crouch it becomes extremely accurate now of course this gun is not as accurate as like the ghost for example but you're paying 500 you know for the ghost so it can be a bit more accurate but i don't think it's worth the 500 to be honest unless you're playing somebody like reyna who needs kills then maybe it would be worth going ghost because you want to get those long distance kills but with everybody else dude i honestly don't use a ghost i mean i honestly don't use yeah i don't buy a ghost unless i'm raining so just look at how good you can be close range and not only that but you can bunny hop and still be accurate with it which is stupid you don't know how many times i've gone up against a ghost and i just do this shit and i just jump i'm literally just hopping around and you know how hard it is to hit somebody that's jumping around like that okay especially on pistol round dude if somebody has a ghost they can't just they can't do this to you while you're hopping around they're gonna have to like hit you in the head because the problem with the ghost is if you have armor it takes about four to five bullets to hit people in the body or to kill them with body shots so you have to get headshots with the ghost to be able to make it effective and if you're fucking bunny hopping like that dude against the ghost with a classic it's gonna be so fucking hard for them to headshot you that you can just right click them to death right click them yeah right click them to death and it's insane it's honestly really really good so if you're not somebody that uses a ghost i mean if you're not somebody that uses the classic and you haven't really tried it i suggest you put more effort into the classic because it's obviously really really good they might nerf it in the future but i think it's really worse and it's probably better that you get armor or some more utility. okay just just trust me on that now we're gonna move on to something that most people are starting to do now and it's very very good is during pistol rounds they buy armor and frenzy and this can even this can even be good for like half buys mid game okay the frenzy is a force to be reckoned with on pistol round because i call it the no aim gun because all you got to do to make this gun effective it's pretty much just run around man like this gun is so stupid now it is balanced because you do have to you know it doesn't do that much damage but like you don't have to aim this thing really you just kind of like generally generally aim in the direction of the opponent while you walk it's so stupid like it's it's such a good fucking pistol and obviously like people are kind of finding out about it so what i do is if i play like jet or something something that doesn't need you till you know you kind of meant to just get kills then i go fucking frenzy pistol i mean frenzy armor fuck it like look how stupid this is and then you have people with ghosts that are trying to like god, god like trying to precisely shoot and you're just running around like ah, you know gun go brr. like it's stupid it's such a good fucking weapon just i don't know if you tried it or not but you can even use it at a distance even though it's not too effective but it's not as inaccurate as you would expect you know just tap it like it's honestly stupid accurate it's fucking dumb 
It's not mine. I don't know. I mean, I don't like it. It's kind of cheese, but I'll use it. Fuck it. Like, you know, once in a while. Not too often. I like. I prefer to aim my shots, but you know, those games where you feel like you're gonna have to go sweaty, or you're gonna have to go kills, or maybe you have four ghosts on your team, and you want to try to like change it up. You know, be the aggressor, be the entry fragger. Then this is a very good fucking weapon to take. Okay, now we're gonna talk about how sometimes you have a little bit more money than your teammates, and sometimes you want to save, and you might have. They, you know, it's happened a few times where this, everyone's like, okay, let's save because my team can buy, right? But I have like 7,000, 6,000. So I can buy a little bit more than they can and still buy a gun next round. So that's the only time I ever use the Guardian. But I think the Guardian is such an underrated weapon because it's honestly an amazing fucking gun if you can land your shots. Like, this gun is disgusting, dude. It'll one tap from anywhere and it's actually nuts how accurate this thing is. Like, just do not sleep do do not that's not a word do not sleep on this fucking gun just trust me dude trust me trust me trust me this gun is amazing and uh, it can actually compete with rifles dude as long as you have perfect cross replacement okay and you have perfect fucking like you know just you're paying attention to the angle you're holding this gun can be extremely effective and it can even go up against vandals because like this is the way i use the vandal anyway i'm a vandal main so the way i use uh the vandal i pretty much just you know i'll throw two bullets here or a bullet there and then if they're like this close, then yeah, I'll, fuck, I'll spray them down, yeah, whatever. But this is pretty much how I use the Vandal pretty much. Almost every time. That's pretty much how I use it. You just gotta like tap it because odds are from a distance, you don't want to spray it. So this is pretty much the Guardian. Now, if you want to think about it with the Vandal, even though I'm, I'm mostly two tap like that, you know, I'm pretty much paying an extra, what is this, 2,400? I'm paying an extra 500 to be able to two tap and to be able to spray at close range. That's, when I, that's the difference between the Guardian and the Vandal. But if your shot's good enough and you're able to one tap people with the Vandal and you have good cross replacement in order to do that, then the Guardian is something that you want to try because I know most people go Bulldog whenever they're like in this situation. And the Bulldog is not a bad weapon. It's actually like, I know it's a really safe weapon, but if you're like this far from someone and they have a Vandal and you have a Bulldog, you know, you're most likely not going to kill them. You would have to land every shot here to the head. And that's kind of hard. Um, I don't know if you can kill somebody at full if they have armor and stuff from this far. So I would I honestly always go I always go fucking guardian at this point. Because the guardian is such a game changer. It's kinda like a wild card, like the marshal. Like just just keep an eye on this gun, trust me. And not only that, but the wall penetration on this shit is actually insane. I don't know if you'd use this, but like you can fucking shit on people. Like it's crazy, dude. It's not like it's not like the fucking can I shoot through that? Can I shoot through two walls? I guess not. Like this thing is insane, dude. With the wall penetration, like I don't, I don't know how people don't notice that. It's kind of like I don't know if the Vandal is that good, right? I'm pretty sure it is because it's a rifle. But yeah, dude, it's actually insane how fucking good this gun is. Uh, even not only that, but I mean, if you're aiming for the body or you miss your headshot and you hit the body, like you'll do more damage than than you expect. Just do keep this gun in mind, okay? Now, lastly, we're going to get to the last weapon in which is the Spectre. Now, the Spectre is an okay weapon. But I would honestly take a Stinger every time. Okay, I know I know people think that the Spectre is like the God tier save weapon. And it's not a bad weapon, especially if you hit, if you hit headshots. But I don't know. I, I feel like I get more kills with the Stinger. I feel like the Stinger is just more consistent, especially at close range where you can like shit on people. This gun takes forever to kill somebody, like, to the body. It just, I don't know. Like, if you don't hit your headshot with the fucking Spectre, you're gonna die. And that's just too much work, I think. And you do get the benefit of being able to, like, spray through smokes and you don't see it because of the, the silencer on it. But I honestly think the Stinger is not bad at all. And I would take it over the Spectre almost every time. And if you aim down sights, like, say for a far angle, this thing turns to shit. Like, look at that fucking recoil. But if you have the stinger, you can actually use it at a distance more than you can with the fucking Spectre. Like the Spectre is supposed to be a top tier weapon and you can spam it and shit. But I don't know. The stinger just feels a lot better. It's kind of like a mini bulldog. You got to treat it like that. It's not going to be as strong as the, the bulldog, obviously, but it's more. It's kind of like the classic also. It's a lot more versatile than the Spectre is. And uh, I don't know. I hated the stinger when I first tried it. I hated that gun, especially during beta. I, it was trash, bro. I hated it. But I've come to love the Stinger. And pretty much when I save for eco, I almost always buy it. So that's pretty much 
what I do now. And I do suggest that a lot of you try the Stinger because if you don't use it already, then you're kind of missing out on a gun that's kind of nuts. All right, guys, and the last weapon we're going to get into is the Ares. Now, the Ares costs the same as a Spectre. It is your budget LMG. And this gun is not actually that bad. It's probably the gun I see the least played, I think. But this gun is actually kind of sick, dude. And it can be used for a lot of... Uh, a lot of very cheesy plays excuse me i'm sure a lot of you know that on ascent there's like whenever you're attacking sometimes there's a sova on b that arrows the wall and tries to kill people through the wall with an odin if you have a sova on your team you can actually trace him or arrow him and you can actually return the favor with an aries and so if you arrow him trying to kill you through the wall then you can wall bang him or sometimes even when he tries to like odin you guys through the wall you can actually trace the bullets and see where they're coming from and kind of find them behind the wall and kill them with it like this gun is actually super good and the only time i kind of run it is when i play reyna sometimes when i play reyna and i'm echoing and i have my ult you can actually like, let me show you you can actually use this thing as an offensive save weapon and it's kind of nuts dude like this thing fucking spits bro when you're on like look at this shit dude and the recoil's not even bad like it's insane how fast you can shit on people with this thing like it's that's the only time i ever use it but you, you want to make sure that you experiment with all the guns even with the ones you don't use because a lot of the times you can find out that you're actually really good with certain weapons or you might like a weapon way more than you thought and you know that's kind of what you want to do you want to get the most value out of your gameplay and that was me with the stinger i did not like the stinger whatsoever and now i, I love it it's such a good fucking weapon and that's what i take every time and I've actually won a lot more eco rounds because I'm using the stinger. So just keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you're open and you kind of try to learn everything about the game and not stick to the same thing every time. Because I feel like that's a big problem with Valorant. Everybody does the same thing every time. Okay, I'm sure a lot of you hold the same angles, the same positions every single game. And that is hurting you in the long run. Okay, you want to be open with your gameplay. Don't be afraid to switch it up, man. Like valorant is a game of chess and if you're playing the same thing if you're playing the same exact way every single time you play valorant then it's not going to benefit you okay you're, you're, you're going to be losing matches and you're going to become predictable you're going to become bored with your routine and you're eventually going to play worse so just trust me you have to play open-minded and just take every game one at a time take every situation one at a time and don't default to the same angles the same locations every single time you play Anyways, guys, this is FPS Cure. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one. Let me know if you guys want any more guides of any kind. I really enjoy making this type of content. So um, let me know down below. Also, I do have a TikTok. Yes, I have a TikTok. Don't make fun of me. But I do post, post, post. I do post a lot of my clips and some small guides here and there, some small tips and tricks. And you can find that. It's FPS underscore Cure uh, dash YouTube. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, FPS underscore Cure underscore youtube uh so yeah guys search me up give me a follow if you do have a tiktok i would really appreciate it anyway guys this is fps cure have a good one make sure to wash your hands make good choices and i will see you all in the next one guys take it easy boys